On the bench today is the Fender Player 2 Telecaster. I've already covered the Fender Player 2 Stratocaster in a prior video, and I really wanted to try one of the Player 2 Telecasters. I'm a huge fan of guitars in green in general. This color is called Birch Green. The green in person is a little greener than the color that Fender uses called Surf Green. It's a really difficult to photograph green. I put the guitar on the bench and gave it a thorough once over and concluded that the fit and finish is good and the guitar appears to be well made. On the scale, she weighs in at eight pounds and one ounce or 3.676 kilos. I plug in the multimeter and test the pickup impedance of each of the three positions. Position one, which is the bridge pickup, measures at 10.78k ohms. Position two, the bridge and neck combined, it measures at 4.75k ohms. And position three, which is the neck pickup, measures at 8.24k ohms. The pickups are a Player 2 model of guitar Fender specific design pickup. They didn't really give them a catchy marketing name, which is kind of surprising. They are only referred to as Player 2 Series Alnico 5 Single Coil Pickups. The neck pickup is routed for up to a P90 pickup, which is a guitar modder's dream to have so many choices. I noticed when looking at my pickguard that there's a visible bump in the pickguard. It appears warped. I'm hoping that it's just a pickup wire out of the channel causing it to lift up. When I take the pickguard off, I can now tell that it's actually warped. Kind of too bad. I purchased this guitar for me and I'm not sending it back unless I have to. I do not know where the guitar first became warped. If from the factory, it would have been nice if it had been caught in QA checks. I happen to have a new Fender Telecaster pickup in the same color, so I replaced it. I hold up the original pickguard in the end so you can see the warped slash hump in the actual plastic. I take the control panel off and examine the control cavity and electronics. The pots are full-size CTS pots and the workmanship on the wiring harness looks to be very well done. The controls are standard Telecaster fare of a three position pickup selector switch and a dedicated volume and tone control. The body is made of alder. The finish of the body is a high gloss poly finish. The guitar comes in 11 different color choices according to the Fender website. Not all colors seem to be available at the moment for shipping and are in a notify me when available status. I've seen some resellers already taking pre-orders. The only thing I'm not a fan of so far on the guitar is the six saddle bridge. I prefer the tried and true three saddle Telecaster vintage bridge. Of course, that's just a preference on my part. The six saddle bridge on this guitar is well made and very serviceable. With an individual saddle that's dedicated to each string, it'll make it easy to have spot on intonation. I like the classic gear tuners. Slotted tuners are my favorite tuners and just work so damn well in both stringing up a guitar and tuning. These newer classic gear models have more accurate and higher gear ratios than the true vintage model slotted tuners. The next specifications on the neck are that it's made of maple and comes with either a maple or rosewood slab fretboard. It has a C shape, 9.5 inch radius with 22 medium jumbo frets. The rolled edges of the fretboard are smooth and when I check for fret rocking, there's not a single spot on the neck that gives even a hint of uneven frets. The rolled edges of the fretboard are a great touch, not something you would normally see on a fender at this price point. On this guitar, I found no sharp fret edges. The guitar neck has a gloss finish on the front of the headstock and the satin finish on the back of the neck that feels smooth and soft to the hand. It's a very easy neck to play and very comfortable to move my hand up and down the neck. The guitar is quiet when plugged into an amp. I mean that there's not a lot of noticeable static or 60 cycle hum. Fender did paint conductive paint throughout the cavities of the guitar, and when I had examined the Player 2 Stratocaster, I found that it actually truly was conductive paint, and maybe this is a contributor to the quiet. After installing a new set of strings on this guitar, I found the intonation was off from the factory. The Player 2 Stratocaster that I had received was perfectly adjusted, but this specific guitar needs five of the six strings to be adjusted, and then after adjusting for intonation, the saddles I found were way too high and needed to be adjusted as well. The string height was almost too high to be playable in my opinion. I needed to adjust all six saddles to medium high, and then the strings were fine. 
I was really surprised by this. I had assumed that after my experience with the Player 2 Stratocaster being spot on, that I would experience the same with this guitar. I think this is really unfortunate. I can take care of my own guitar, but a new or inexperienced guitar player would have needed to spend more money after the purchase of the guitar on getting the guitar to a playable condition. I think that this is one of the most important things for makers of affordable guitars to get right out of the box. I think affordable guitars most of the time are going to end up in the hands of people that are just starting out playing and may not be able to afford an unexpected expense of having to do a setup or, to be honest with you, may not be experienced enough to even know that it needs to be done. If the guitar is difficult to maintain tuning, it sounds bad generally, and the strings are too high and make it difficult to play, this could be very discouraging to a new player and make them just stop playing in general. Overall, after adjusting the guitar and replacing the warp pick guard, I find I really like the guitar and I find it to be an enjoyable guitar to play. I would characterize the Player 2's Telecaster as a good utility grade guitar. It is well made, and it'll give you many years of uninterrupted service if maintained. It is handsome, but not beautiful. Functional, but not extraordinary. It is what the title implies, a player-grade Telecaster.